four minutes in, I've done one intro, but I've also done, um, what do you call it? Um, what do you call that? The, the, the <sighs> thumbnail. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I have a little haul that I wanted to share with you. I just want to sit down and hang out with you guys. It's uh, It's been a second since I've done, you know, like a hangout video because I've been working. I had a couple things that I had pre-recorded and that I got busy with work. So now I'm here and I, I'm just, you know, I've been missing you and I want to spend a little time and all that fun stuff. And so I got a little haul. I got some things to, to share with you. It's not a ton of stuff, but it's just enough to where it's like, you're just going to hang out and chat and do that whole deal. So if you want to do that, sounds fun. And I hope that it does. Stick around because I'm about to get into it. But before I do, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe because it really does help me out a lot. And it is always greatly appreciated. And that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay, so a really long intro for a really tiny, tiny haul, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to hang out and spend some time together. I did get some, some shopping done. I had my gift cards left over from Christmas. I hadn't really had a chance to really use them because I've been busy with work, which is great. I, I kind of want to do a whole like, um, get ready with me probably separately and, and not go into the full like details of work and stuff. Nothing too dramatic, but, um, Still, you know, I've got a little story time there, just just a little. And I have some other things that are in route, but they're, you know, they're not going to be here for a minute. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to go ahead and get this done because I have to get more work on the books and who knows when I'm going to have time to sit down. And there's one thing in particular that I wouldn't even want it to be a part of a haul. It's going to be like a separate thing that I'm like really excited about because it's something really cool. It's kind of like, that's the cliffhanger of the video. Is that something coming up that I'm like really excited to share with you guys? It's going to be here like in a couple of days. And... I'm just like, I can't believe I found this thing. So yeah, that's why I just thought, oh, we're going to do this. <laughs> and then we'll, we'll do the rest of the stuff later as it comes in. There's like, uh, there's a couple of things. So, you know, stay tuned for that. But today we're going to get into this. I didn't use the entire of my Ulta gift card, but I did use all of my Sephora. Um, it's not all here. There's still, like I said, other things that are floating around out there in the freaking ether and they'll show up when they show up. But I do have something, so I'm kind of excited. The first thing I want to hop into is my Ulta stuff. I got uh, two separate bags here because I went two separate times, and I've been so great with my smart shopping that um, I haven't used all of my yeah I haven't used all of my my gift cardy stuff yet, which is pretty epic, pretty amazing. But the first thing that I want to show you guys is this shampoo from Huey, and it's a clarifying shampoo. Now, my friend Lisa from Banning, Panning, and Beyond, I know that I've talked to you guys about her before, but I'm gonna link her channel down below. Go ahead and check her out. She is freaking amazing. We are both having hair trauma. We're both dealing with our hair and issues and things like that, and she was asking me about a clarifying shampoo, and I don't know, I wanted to go ahead. That's Gil. <laughs> That's, that's that's my baby right now. If you hear a noise in the background, I was like, what is that? It's, it's him. Yeah, okay. I wonder if I should shut the door. Whatever, we're, okay, it's fine. Let's, let's just keep it moving. I've wanted to use a clarifying shampoo. I, well, let me just say this. I've wanted to try this shampoo for a while. I do like the body scrub that they have. It's 38 bucks. I, I haven't repurchased it or anything like that, but when I did use it and I did have it, I thought it was pretty freaking decent. So we're gonna give this a try. I do um, like their products. I've had other things aside from the body scrub that uh, are from this brand that I actually enjoy. So I'm gonna give it a shot, see if I like it for clarifying my hair. Um, I'm going to do the rundown of the shampoos that I talked about in the past and do like a full like roundup on my thoughts and all that stuff, but I do want to try this just like maybe in the interim, not using the heavily protein-y um, hydrating ones and just doing like more of a cleansing one, kind of mixing it up a little bit just to see how it works. I'm not a hair professional. I don't know how it all like is supposed to go and be and what, whatever. I'm just kind of like flying blind and just trying things in hopes that it's going to make like some kind of difference and bring health and healing to my hair and all that fun stuff. So that's pretty much where I am with that. And I just wanted to give it a shot. So I will definitely keep you guys posted on how it goes. So <laughs> I need to catch a breath after that one. The next thing I have is another hair product. Look, I know, see, this is like where I'm at with my freaking hair. I'm, I'm like obsessed with my hair right now. It's, it's, it's a thing. It's a real freaking thing, but I got this and, uh, I've heard a lot about this. This has been kind of viral and I want to give this a try. It's supposed to defrizz and do that whole deal. And um, I'm kind of excited about it. I'm really excited to use it. It's another reason why I want to sit down and um, 
do this haul because I'm not going to use the products until I've actually, you know, especially something new. I want to like share it with you guys first and then use it and then come back and do my like, hey, this is what I think about it. I don't know. That's just my brain for whatever reason. Weird probably, but I never said it wasn't weird. So I guess that's, it, that's just me. And I like this. I'm excited about this. I'm looking forward to using this. I hear really good things about it. So got that. And the other thing I got, remember how I did in my empties video, I was telling you guys about the buffet serum that has the copper and all that stuff in it and how it was just kind of like, you know, nothing really to write home about. He's still going. Jeez please. You know what's funny about my cat? <laughs> Side note. He never really covers what he does in his little cat box. He just stays in there for the longest time, like, pretending to cover it, scratching, like, at the walls, thinking that it works. That's just how Gil is. That's, that's my boy for you. So that's what he's doing right now. He's just scratching the walls and not really making a, a lot of progress. Just a lot of noise, so... God bless them. All right, back to the buffet serum with the copper infused, all that, whatever. It really isn't anything to write home about. Like I said, it's just kind of like, okay, and not worth the extra money. I would go for the regular buffet serum. But when I went back to Ulta to pick it up, they didn't have it. And I didn't want to buy it online. I just, you know, I didn't have the patience. I just wanted to get some more skincare because my face has been so dry lately. I don't know, winter, I guess, the weather's drier, it, 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 that's probably what it is, and I've been working out in the elements and all that stuff in my job, that's just what my job is like, but um, they didn't have it, I didn't want to wait, so I got this uh, multi-peptide serum, I've never tried this before, I'm hoping that it's good, um, I don't know, I, I do like The Ordinary, I like a lot of the things from their brand, I like that they're affordable, uh, The Ordinary and Inky List are like my two favorite skincare brands right now, but um, you know, um, I don't know. I want to give it a try. They didn't have the buffet serum. This looks like it's pretty good. And, you know, peptides and stuff are really good for the skin, I, I believe. Especially, you know, as you get older. It's, you know, good to have that extra bit of nourishment and the whatnot for your face. And so I went ahead and I got this. And we're going to see how it goes. I'm going to keep you guys posted on how this works out. And it, this wasn't super expensive either. So, you know, I didn't want to go for the, the really pricey, ridiculous out there, you know, thing. I wanted to keep it, you know... Uh, within the reasonable price range. That's one of the reasons why I like The Ordinary and all that, because they're, you know, affordable and they're good products. It's it's good skincare, but I like the stuff that's not on the pricey side. You know, I don't feel like you always have to break the bank. You know, certain things I will splurge on, like you're gonna see here in a second. Certain things I'll give a little splurge to, but I feel like you can find good skincare and not have to spend just like a ton of money on it. Just my humble opinion, it's from my own personal experience. But yeah, my skin has been um, really, really dry lately. Is he scratching at the door now? He is, damn it. Out of the cat box and straight to the door. I shut the door while I was filming so that I could make the sound just like a little bit less so you guys weren't like, you know. So it's not all over the freaking video and then the moment I shut the door, he's at the door scratching to get in. This is this is my boy. So um, now I'm totally distracted with what I was saying. Let me just like hit, hit rewind for a second. Okay, so my skin has been, my hair is annoying me too. My skin has been incredibly dry, and the other night, I, I was looking in the mirror, and I'm like, I just have these little dry patches on the side of my face here, and I'm like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while, and that's a full, like, at-home, you know, facial moment. I, I just don't do it enough. Like, I busted out my little Froeo, or whatever the hell that thing is called, that UFO thing. I'll put it up here somewhere so you guys can see. Um, I used that. I haven't used that in a minute. It's like almost out of life. I have to recharge it. But it works, and it was it was fine. It was good. Um, I used my honey mask that I have. I mean, I just went to town on, like, just hydrating the heck out of my face. And I feel like maybe the problem is, is that I, I haven't been using enough of my skincare product. Maybe I'm trying to stretch it out a little too much. I don't know. But I just went ham and just, like, I've just been covering and slathering my face in moisturizer and I feel like it's made a difference like I'm looking at my face now and I feel like it's it's a lot more moisturized and a lot more alive than it was before because I was looking you know kind of dehydrated but I drink a lot of water so it's got to just be the drier weather I don't know or the winter weather like we even have winter here in California I mean yes it's been raining and some really you know crazy weather moments have been happening uh, much more so than usual but on the regular California's winter, uh, as opposed to like the Midwest or other places around the world, it's like nothing. It's like really winter. My skin's freaking out right now. How much has it really changed outside? It's like 60 something degrees. Come on. But I guess my face is spoiled or I don't know. My skin's just like, no, it's the, the weather has changed and now I'm going to be dry and crackly and weird. So yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm 
moisturizing more and it's it's kind of working so I'm excited about that that's like my long-winded way of saying that and segueing into the next thing which is another skincare product so now we're hopping into like Sephora land and this was how much were you $27 that's a lot to spend on this but listen oh Tatcha you know walking around in Sephora and and trying to be mindful of what I want to purchase and what I want to use my gift card toward um I'm doing the whole getting ready to exit and this catches my eye and because my skin had been like in such distress I thought I really do like this cleanser and I like how they have this bottle instead of the, the cylinder kind of bottle that thing is a nightmare to get product out of but this is nice I like this and I like this cream now I know that I talked to you guys in the last one about the one that I got for my birthday and it was kind of like I didn't like the consistency of it. It was, it didn't know, it like, it didn't know what it wanted to be, whether it was a heavy cream or like a water-based cream. It just was the weirdest feeling. I didn't like it, but this particular one, I really do like. Is it overpriced? Yes. I think for what you're getting it is, but I, I do like Tatcha, so I thought this might help my face and I got it, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna do that and then I'm gonna use it in a later date. I already know I like it, so. You probably won't need like an update on that one, but I am excited that I have it. Another thing I got, I got another one of these. <laughs> I know, it's not surprising at all. How many times have I talked about this on my videos? Caudalie face spray, how much I freaking love this. The medicinal kind of scent that it has, the, the spa-like and the fine mist, and I'm obsessed with face misters and I just wanted to get this. I, I don't know, I wanted to rescue my face. It's just been going through a lot and it's been feeling really you know, not, not good. So this brings the goodliness and I'm excited for it. So I got this and, um, is it worth 18 bucks? It is to me. It is right now. So I'm, I'm kind of glad that I got it. And I also ended up using some points too, you know, just, uh, just to lessen the, the blow of the using of the gift card and, uh, the rest of the stuff that's coming. So it kind of like made it all work out perfectly in, in my humble opinion. And the last thing I got in today's haul that I wanted to share with you guys is the, this again, this is overpriced. It's eighteen dollars for this. Listen, I, I, this is I love this so much. I I know this is a splurge. This is not necessary. There are lip balms out there that work beautifully that are a fraction of the price. But for some reason, I can't stop buying this freaking thing. I love this lip balm so much. And you know the the weird deal with this, or maybe it's not so weird, is that you go through it so quickly, or at least I do. Um, I apply it constantly because I, I don't know I just do maybe that's a bad thing I don't know maybe it should last longer probably for 18 bucks but I love it and I just keep buying it and I know I'm just gonna keep buying it and buying it because it just works really well <laughs> I, don't know, it's I love it I love it what can I say you know uh, sometimes it's worth it to spend a couple extra bucks on a certain item if it's something that you really love so that's the only way I can really justify it because like I said I know there are other lip balms out there I can use for uh, or purchase rather for way less and that work pretty much the same but I love it and I like it and that's like the fifth one that I bought I think in the past year <laughs> it's a lot it's a lot to spend on a freaking lip balm but you know I got it and uh, yeah that's it so that was a little haul and I just wanted to go ahead and sit down and share it with you guys and like I said I have other things that are coming that I'm really excited to share with you too so stay tuned for that because it's gonna be you know fun and awesome and full of all that you know goodliness and the whatnot so <laughs> let me know what you've been purchasing lately let me know what you think of the products in the comments let's go ahead and chat it up I love talking to you guys you know it always makes me happy and it also brings me a lot of joy on those long hours at work when I have nothing to do but uh, throw out trash and feed people and uh, try and stay awake. So uh, yeah, help me out by talking to me. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's going to do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you all in the next one. Bye.